Hello guys and welcome to my channel Chicken and Waffles Yes, today we're gonna be doing chicken and waffle from the scratch And I hope you like it and try it and let me know what you think Chef Wax Kitchen Chicken, I love you so much I eat you every day even in the So in the pan I add my chicken Put it in the sink and I dice around it Cause I just wanna make a mark on it so that the chicken can cook right through it so you don't have any blood in the chicken so I wash them twice after washing I added my white wine vinegar uh, to take the smell of the chicken and I wash that twice so that it would take the smell of the chicken as well as the smell of vinegar so it wouldn't be that too strong on our chicken so with that gives it so that your chicken would taste better than to take the smell or taste the vinegar around it. In the pan, I boil the water, I added a teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of salt. So I pre boil my chicken for five minutes. Once the water is boiled, turn off your stove and have the chicken marinate in the water for five minutes. Just, you know, rotate it around so it will pre-cook it or they call it blanche so once it's done I take it out put it in a pan as you can see the chicken is pre-cooked so after I set it down to cool for a few minutes so in the bowl I have a teaspoon of paprika a teaspoon of sayo goya I have a curry powder a teaspoon of that I have the goya adobo seasoning a teaspoon also I have the lemon and pepper seasoning also a teaspoon of that and then I have a pinch of salt and then I added a two tablespoon of all purpose flour you know so these are my dry ingredients that I mix it together for the ingredient to be combined once I'm done I added a little a bit of water and the water once it thicken a little bit I have a half a cup of half and half milk mix with my dry ingredients so with the half and half cream I will make it a little bit thicker that is the consistency I need to soak or to marinate my chicken because we're making a chicken and waffle and this is the consistency you need and once you have that consistency add your chicken because the chicken is cool you don't have to rush it just put it in once you have all your chicken make sure you marinate your chicken make sure all your chicken is cooperated with the butter So that you don't have lumps in your butter. 
you don't want a lump butter because then your waffle won't taste good. You know, and this is the consistency you need to make your waffle butter. You can make it a little bit thick, but I prefer it so you can have a moisture uh, waffle to eat with your chicken. So I added uh, a vanilla extract, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, you know, so that your butter will smell good so you can taste that vanilla flavor in your waffle. I mean, it is so amazing and this is from scratch. I hope you like the video, share, subscribe, and uh, enjoy it. So now I added a diced blueberry because I'm making chicken and waffle with blueberry waffle. Yes, instead of chicken and waffle, I added the blueberries to it. I mean, whatever uh, vegetable uh, fruits you like, sorry, you can add that. So in a little pan, I added a strawberry all washed and diced. I love strawberry. I mean, strawberry, you can eat it with anything you like. And then I added a, a whole fruit orange. You know, I dice it into four and I put it in the fridge to cool. I mean, who wouldn't like a cool vegetable? I like that. So once I marinate my chicken sitting for 10 minutes, I pour my oil in my pan. And you can pour a half a pan of oil because you want it to cover. So once your oil is heated up to 350 degrees, you pour your chicken drop in there and as you can see it is hot so you check it make sure you move it around so you get that crispiness in your chicken so with the blend left all my um, strawberries I put it in my blender all washed I pour a cup of orange juice I'm trying to make orange strawberry juice you know that will go well with my chicken and blueberry waffle I mean who wouldn't like that for breakfast I mean if you want to come over trust me my heart is open and my house and my kitchen is open i like to give a shout out to one of my subscribers who always share my videos and then post it on his blog gloria amponsa of ghana thank you so much and keep subscribing and and our chicken is done it's so amazing it's golden brown and the chicken smells so good another shout out to mamiya from Poma of Maryland. Thank you for watching my video and keep subscribing, keep sharing. So I added my chicken and after the chicken is done, I have my waffle maker, I spray it and then I scoop one and a half uh, scoop of soup ladle of uh, butter and it takes less than uh, two minutes and you see how fluffy our waffle is. So repeat the same process till your butter is this is how your waffle is supposed to look like but other than have my cinnamon butter and another way to make cinnamon butter is to put a little bit of cinnamon over your waffle and then uh, with your knife just take a little chunk of butter and then spread it on top with your cinnamon because the pan, uh, the waffle is hot once you put the butter on your waffle it melts it and it soaks the cinnamon and will be right in there so now you have your cinnamon butter on your waffle oh my god if you know how my kitchen smells so good i mean my kitchen smells so good listen Next weekend, I invite everyone to my house for a nice breakfast. So you repeat the same process and I have my waffle and then I added my chicken and my waffle again. And I'm doing my layer. Oh, I can't wait for you to try this waffle and chicken breakfast. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. So if I post any video, you should be the first to enjoy. I mean, don't forget again, please subscribe as many as you want. And I just want to say thank you for watching my video. Our chicken and waffle is ready. You can come over for us to enjoy. I mean, it's summer and we have to enjoy good breakfast. And this is one of my good breakfast. Put my syrup on my waffle and chicken. That is the right way to eat it. I mean, if you don't like the syrup, you can eat it that way too, which is fine. But mainly chicken and waffle is eat with syrup. I mean, the sweetness.
sweetness and the syrup that falls over your waffle. I mean, mine is the blueberry waffle, and I soaked it with my you know fried chicken. I mean, the chicken is so tender and juicy. I mean, it's so crispy. I mean, if you don't like crispy chicken, which is fine, but I do like it. I mean, I want to taste the crunchiness in that chicken. The seasoning was some point. The butter, I mean, there wasn't too much sugar. If you like sugar, you can put as much sugar as you want. But I don't like too much sugar, so I went with the quantity that I need to make this amazing breakfast for you to enjoy. Look at the chicken. It's cooked through perfect. Subscribe, share the video. Don't forget to notify your notification bell. See you in the next video. Bye.